let's start by saying welcome to my shed guys and girls been told off so many times by the girls who say to me stop saying guys we watch your videos as well thank you for joining me in my shed today what are we looking at good old speed fights although these two are not good old speed fights at all they've both got their problems and um, we'll have a quick look at them in a minute but first I need you to go inside with me and watch my little uh, intro bit about watching videos and then we get back to these so guys and girls uh, I know I'm gonna say it through the rest of the video guys 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 maybe I'm being just gender neutral or whatever it is nowadays and just by saying guys and being generic I don't know it's where I'm from I always say guys you know and there's some girls and guys and guys and girls you get the picture let's get on with the video back in the shed in a second I get a lot of people say to me Mark I've looked all for your videos and I can't find what the problem is please help on your phone you're gonna get around about 100 videos and on most of them when you click on one you'll see a few bits of the other ones but you're not getting the full experience of my channel guys what you need to do is go on your home computer guys put Mark Savage in and press search this is me I do have two channels, one all for speed fights and it's on the playlist and this is my main one. Click, there we go, click on videos and you get all of my videos that you've probably just seen but it keeps going on. The CBRs, there's loads of cars there admittedly, the Honda, big bikes, Suzuki's, Triumphs, some other generic ones, Air Roxes, there's Aprilia's down here, Cock Doc, that was a good video keep going down and then you start to see a lot more speed fights that's a really good video guys 10 top tips that will really help you fix your bike or get you started understanding how BMW yes Triumph oil one that's another good one about using good oil then we start getting gearboxes and cranks and my like daft chickens that were in the way all the time and then we start other little bits and bobs and you start seeing loads and loads of speed fight videos there are some other stuff there guys on their boxes Ludix blasters front suspension, exhausts, a couple of my Triumph ones but they're really really helpful guys you keep going down and down and down and down there's some other little ones there the Gilera DNAs and you get down to this page so there we go guys there's 300 videos there over that in fact that will help you fix your bike failing that go and find my original speed fight channel as well you don't get the full package on your phone you need a computer or you need to then type in the exact name a lot of them I did in the early days were part 1 day fix part 4 part 5 and stuff like that but you need to find my other speed fight channel if that's what you're looking for otherwise guys do enjoy my videos you may need a cup of tea which I think I'm lacking before I go outside again that's what I came in for actually a cup of tea and we're going to look at these two bikes now cup of tea <sighs> gloves are on this is a 2006 speed fight. What is wrong with this one? An awful lot. Someone has had a few bikes and have just slapped all the bits together. Um, there's nothing quite right about it. You know, if you're gonna look at the clocks, guys, take this head a bit here off. It's only plastic, there's four bolts underneath. Take it off, upside down to the screws. Don't do that, it just wrecks it. It's got a 100cc exhaust on it. Um, I'll bring it outside in a minute, you can have a good look round what is wrong with this bike. Um, side stand, this is the centre stand, so uh, that's naked now. And we come to the engine itself, this is a water cooled version and I had this many many times. I don't know if it will start on the button but let's have a look. Maybe under all that racket you couldn't hear it guys. You know what's wrong with this one? Engine bearings. There's nothing worse than having a bike that will start. Now I did cheat, spray of easy start. Um, it's the only way of getting it going at present. I mean, it hasn't got the air box on it. I said dead people. Um, hasn't got the air box on it so I used a tiny bit of easy start. It started up there. Which means piston's good, carburetor's good, auto choke's good. It's all good. What's bad? engine bearings and you've got to understand guys that is a major job 
If you looked at my other video a minute ago with little interlube, I'm indoors, you'll see where it goes down. I've got an engine split in here, but the engine has to come off. Everything has to come off. That's the variator, stator coil, carburetor has to come off, head has to come off, piston out. Split the engine down, for God's sake, just to get two bearings on either side. It is none of the other things I just mentioned. It is not your variator. It's not your stator coil making noise. It's not your actual big end small. It is your engine bearings, and it's a big job. Not a lot of money though, you know, it really isn't 15 quid. You've got to replace your engine seals while you're there as well. Um, some gaskets being water cooled. So it's not a lot of money under 50 pounds and you get your bike back on the road. Advice time, what would I do? Well, I've had one of these before, do this for a long time. My daughter rode it and it did another 2,000 miles. Straight up, it made horrendous noises like this. It sounded like a roller coaster going down the road, even a steamroller. Um, but it kept running. You got to weigh up the odds. A little bit of noise, the bike still performed, did over 50 miles an hour, did everything you wanted to do, it just sounded like a steamroller. So, my advice, if you're doing it, you know you've got a big job, keep riding it until it fails. Um, unless you're really worried that you don't want to fail <laughs> while you're going to work or wherever you're going to college or anything else like that. So then, do it then. Okay, so I know what's wrong with this. It's a mismatch of pieces. Say the wrong exhaust is on it. It's 100cc exhaust. There's all little bits and bobs wrong with this one. Um, great for parts, really. Would I sell this on this way? Nah, you know. There's lots of great parts on this. I'd use it for that, to be honest with you, because it's a shame, isn't it? Anyway, let's look at the other one. That's what I'm saying, guys. That is a 100cc exhaust. And do you know what? I'm not actually 100% sure that it should go the way it does. Because normally the exhaust pattern is different. The exhaust pattern should go underneath. This one doesn't, so I don't even think it's the speed fight exhaust. But it is water cooled. As you see, she just needs a lot of TLC. But with that engine bearing, which is in there, it's a big job. So there you go, that's this one. Right, the white one. Well, doesn't look too bad on camera. Nice stage six exhaust. Again, 2006. So what's wrong with this one? Well, let's get it in there and let's show you. So as I wheel it in, can you hear this, guys? Can you hear that? You'll notice there's something else as well. I showed that stand earlier. It's from this one. Door shut. Hopefully get some warmth back in here. Right, listen guys. What is that? There's something I spotted about this bike when it was given to me. On a disc front and back, you can use front wheels as well as back wheels. They are different sizes, okay guys? Fatter tire at the back, thinner tire at the front. I need to put this on blocks, but this one starts as well. Again, not straight off. I've often had people say my bike won't start. Easy start. Honestly, it's a blessing. Um, I had a bike before that I did everything to. I changed to carburetors, auto chokes. I've had a lot of people say this. I've got a guy talking to me now, actually. He's sitting there kicking it over forever. He's sitting there. Electric starting forever. It won't start. Sometimes, if all else fails, it isn't a bad thing. One second squirt, away you go in the winter months. When it's warm, she'll start. They're just funny little niggly bits. I've changed carburetors, reeds, auto chokes. The, um, it was worn pistons in the end, actually. Um, the rings around the piston were worn. I changed the piston, actually, run a lot better. But for a quick fix of three pound odd, it's worth it. Anyway, just sprayed it. Let's see where it starts. That's a no. It does start, he said. Kickstart on this doesn't work. The little pin, several different sizes. But let's see again. No. It did run, so I've got to take the carburetor apart. I've got to check all that. He said he put a 68 jet in there, and that's what got it running. It's quite large, um, but we'll have a look. But it's this bit here. That horrible grinding noise. I don't think it's the engine itself. I believe it's the back wheel. So I'm going to get all the panels off, jack the bike up, take the back wheel off, 
and then see if it makes the same noise. It doesn't, then you know what normally happens. The brake caliper is either rubbing on the outside of the wheel or on the disc itself or even the pad is changing. But this isn't such a major fix. But again, I'm going to have to take the whole thing apart because I don't know what this guy's done to this bike. He said it runs, and here I am saying it doesn't run. And I've used Easy Start. And the problem one, which is the engine bearings, that started, you know? That's really bad. And this one should have been a quick, easy look over an MOT. It's not going to be that at all. It's going to be hours and hours of work, finding out what's wrong with it, and eventually doing it. You have to wrap the odds, paying out money, to get it right. Whether it's worth even doing or buying. Um, obviously bought these two bikes in, thinking it's a simple fix, and it turns out not to be. I've got a video um, called Top 10 on here, uh, fixing a moped. Give that a watch. If you haven't got the parts, the tools, then don't bother. So it's going to be a complete strip down, work on. Do I enjoy it? <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm a bit sad I enjoy it. Am I going to enjoy doing this and will I do it? Yes, I'm going to start on this one first. But guys, please, that beginning bit, go on the computer, look at my videos, guys, rather than just tapping them for questions. I know it's easy, and it's easy for me to answer sometimes, look at my videos and that frustrates you, but I've done it, you know? And it's a lot easier watching a video. Please don't just fire for question. My bike don't run. I've gone on and on about that, guys. Don't say that, okay? My bike was running perfectly before, and I've changed the airbox, and I've changed this and changed that, and it won't run. You're answering your own question sometimes. Put it back to where it was. Uh, I've upjetted it, and it won't start anymore. Down jet it. I've put a sports exhaust. Well, did you have a bits and bobs to it, you know? Watch my on tuning, exhausts, upjetting, down jetting, carburetor cleaning, you name it, it's there. Electric problems, you're always going to probably need a voltmeter. Cheap, I should have shares in these. These are brilliant though. If front headlights aren't working, check the bulbs, check you've got power there, trace it back, okay? Useful videos, watch them all, they will help. And what you will need is a cup of tea. And I honestly do say, if you've took a carburetor apart, you've cleaned it, you've put it back together again, you've done all the bits to it and it still won't work, you've done it five times and it's driving you mad, Sometimes easier sitting down, a cup of tea, watch a few videos, and then you have a light bulb moment. You didn't check this, or you didn't check that. You didn't look at the battery where the connector for the old choke is. You forgot that some bikes, when you change things, like the link pipe, or not the link pipe, you've got one of those stupid bloody air filters on, in question. You really don't like them on speed fights. And yet air roxies, they do like them. How was that? When I found this on a 50cc speed fight, it ran really well. 21 mil carb, 17 and a half it should be. But this ran, but it wouldn't have run for long. As soon as the rain and wet weather gets there, these sponges are just useless. This is the good old link pipe I often talk about. It's a bit of a bugger to get out. You have to um, lift the bucket seat out unless you're really good to squeeze it out, which I can do, but it's much easier. Some bikes like this and will start and brilliantly. Other bikes don't like it at all. And sometimes you'll find that it will run better just not having it, but won't start very well. You know, you've got to combat that, haven't you? Anyway, freezing cold. Chatted it long enough. Guys, like, subscribe. Look at the outside, please. Check out all my videos before asking questions. And let's get back on the road again. Thanks, guys, for watching.